guys welcome to another video um if you are new on the channel thank you so much for joining us and i hope you will subscribe and join the family and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much um for your support and thank you for returning to watch this video so guys before we go any further i'd like to address the elephant in the room yes i've been away for quite some time and i just want to take this time and apologize for that um life happened guys life happened as you know life happens we make plans but life has other plans for us i hope you will understand guys but i am back so today i want us to go ahead and discuss the emotional needs of men in relationships some of these emotional needs are only appropriate and recommended for married people all right i will explain why i'm saying that also a disclaimer guys this is not like a manual of some sort or anything like that uh, it's just my opinion based on what i've learned over the years what i've researched um what i've read and also based on my uh, personal experiences okay it's not some sort of a manual like everyone is like this you know and this order um, i might say this is the most important but for someone else you know it's not and maybe in your relationship it's not the man who um who needs this it's the woman so you know just sit down and assess your own relationship number one um very important emotional need sexual fulfillment it doesn't matter if he's tired he has a deadline he's sick oh <laughs> guys a man can be on his deathbed okay he won't mind but guys i don't want to go too deep because you know sometimes you know kids watch this i don't know why it is not recommended if you're not married because uh primarily because for a woman um this is this is to protect you ladies okay um so for a woman you get emotionally attached to a person that you have sexual relations with so to protect yourself do not invest that much into a relationship so should it not work out it's not going to be easy for you to let go number one it's not going to be easy to move on you can't even think straight you're emotionally attached so recommended for the married couples because this is for to heaven to hold until death do us part but anyway i don't want to go too deep you know what i'm talking about if you are married stop the excuses ladies as much as you um as a woman you value intimacy you value um, affection he values that and if that is taken care of um then you will even get uh, closer as a couple so yeah let's just uh, move along because i think i've said a mouthful all right so let's just move right along to number two which is respect there's a saying that says a man who is not respected will not love and a woman who is not loved will not respect i mean it's a vicious cycle one of you in the relationship has to make the decision to say let me just do it i'll be the first one to play my part so that the other one can re um, react or respond but otherwise a man needs to be respected and with respect with regards to respect we're not talking about here yeah, bubaba whatever you say goes and things like that no you still have a say you still have decisions to make you still have to see if you agree or not but what we are saying is respect his decisions respect his um, choices because as women sometimes you know we come on too strong because we have that you know we have that third eye that intuition we can see sort of see in the future we don't when we plan something we don't plan for tomorrow 
we plan for beyond so we can see beyond so we normally don't respect other people's choices we don't give them the freedom to make their own choices or to make their own mistakes because we you know we have that i don't know if it's wisdom or what or we think we have wisdom so you respect him in a sense that you give him the freedom you let him make his own choices you let him make his own mistakes even if you see that hey brother you are mm. you know sometimes you just have to let it go sometimes yes you can address it but also just take care of how you address it because as ladies you know we can we can talk and sometimes we talk like we are falling from a tree you don't care about someone else's feelings but the problem is that you know with the other person you might not take it to heart if someone says to you hey that's a stupid idea but for him you know it it goes a long way it cuts too deep so that's what you need to take care of that's what you need to look out for he might have friends that you do not approve of like oh that friend of yours is dodgy but don't go as far as you know making those choices for him i don't want you with this friend i don't want you with that friend and same goes to you you should not allow him to choose friends for you yes you have the right to not like my friends you have that right but you do not have a right to choose friends for me so hence i say ladies don't go and now try to become someone's mother advise where you can and then learn to let go allow someone to make their own choice make their own decisions make their own mistakes and then learn from so them. and now we move along to number three which is physical attraction it's not just good for you to look attractive it's also important being attractive has somehow got lost in between you know being a certain way looking a certain way you need to be this weight you need to be this skin tone you need to be this height uh, to be attractive we know each and every one of us have our own definition of um, physical attractiveness. So make sure that you define, you define your own um, attractiveness, you define your own beauty, and then present that. So it's all about feeling good, looking good. So if you look at yourself and you see that, you know what, I look good, I feel good. Everyone else around you will tap into that and they will notice, you know. So it all starts with you. With regards to beauty, guys, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how you look. We are all beautiful. God has made us all beautiful. You just have to find it in yourself to accept yourself the way you are. Love yourself the way you are. And the soon as soon as you love yourself and accept yourself everyone else around you will um, accept and love you including your partner so it's very important that you always look good look put together don't let yourself go so it's something that you have to be constantly aware of constantly intentional that you know what i need to look good if it was up to me guys i'll be in my pajamas all day every day in pajamas tights g you know but sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone man and wear something you know wear that church dress even if you're not going to church and stop this thing of only looking nice when you're going somewhere you looking nice when you're going to church looking nice when you're going to work looking nice when you're going somewhere but when you're in the house you look raggedy raggedy single ladies look good they look put together but as soon as they are in a relationship ah, out the window we throw all that out the window and then we just put on whatever put on whatever i got the man i'm good i'm sorted i don't need to look good for what for who for why you know men are visual beings okay they they see something and then they go for it so don't lose that always remind him why you got attracted to you in the first place 
because yes you are intelligent yes you are wise yes you are all these things but what is the one thing that got, got him attracted to you it's not because you were saying some wise things no he first saw you and then he spoke with you then he learned more about you sometimes a guy will see you you are attractive he speaks to you mm, turn off but sometimes he will see you um come closer speak to you and then you will fall in love right but the thing that pulled him to you what was that your physical attractiveness the way you looked so you make sure that you keep that up you know, if you hate yourself, someone else can see. Someone else can feel that. Make sure that you're always trying. I know um, we have so much responsibilities, but this also needs our attention. Take time for this. Hmm? I, I talk too much, guys. Uh, so number four is domestic support. So with regards to domestic support, what I know is that men can't take care of themselves. Guys, please refer to my previous statement, the disclaimer, okay? Not all men, obviously. Um, and sometimes it's the ladies that can't take care of But by not taking care of, them, of themselves, I, I don't mean that you have to bath him and clothe him or whatever you. Of Obviously, you met him as an adult. He's been doing that. He's been surviving without you. Also, we have um, helpers, okay? So I'm not talking necessarily the cleaning, washing, uh, cooking, and what have you. Although, although that's also important. If you can, even if you do have a helper, every, every now and then, um, do something do something for your man. Because it's, it's good to have your wife, you know, pack your lunch or dish up for you, even if she didn't cook. Even better, cook for him. That's this. Um, we do have helpers, but what I mean is that there are things that as a woman you bring in a home, you know, so he needs that female touch to come and say, hey, babe, let's get some couches. Oh, let's get some curtains. Let's get some, uh, let's get bedding for your bed. Uh, let's get some curtains in your bedroom. Let's get this, let's get that. He needs someone to, because now as soon as those things are there, they appreciate them. But initially, they don't see the need. They only um, get what they need, and then that's it. If it's a TV, I need to watch a TV, or get a TV, maybe a TV stand, he'll get maybe one couch or a chair. That's it. And it serves the purpose. So for us, it's not even about purpose. It's about beauty, you know? Purpose plus beauty. So you bring the touch. Sometimes all he needs is your feminine touch. He can buy a house but you turn it into a home, okay? Um, or you can buy a house and turn it to an, into a home, or you can buy a house, he turn it into a home. You know, do you? But all I'm saying is that sometimes you find that he has the resources, but he doesn't know what to do with it, with them. So if in your relationship, you are the one who is more domesticated and he's not, play your part, stop this competition nonsense of saying, why must I be the one? We both coming from work. If you are the one who's bothered by that thing, then it means you must do it. Sometimes, um, with regards to you know technology in the house, um, cars, whatever, that will bother the man. And if that bothers him, sometimes it bothers the ladies. But if that bothers him, then that's his. If the dishes bother you, if the house being clean bothers you. Then just do it stop complaining and stop this competition and comparing yourself yesterday i washed the dishes today i must not i did the laundry today you must do the laundry okay if it does not bother him then you must do it or you must get someone to do it i don't know if i made sense like i'm just blabbing but a lot of people are fighting and when you look at what they're fighting about it's so minor it's so minor fighting about minor things you know fighting brings distress to your relate strains your relationship it brings stress so don't fight unnecessarily because of things that you can do um you know without complaining without nagging because um trust me nagging is something else i mean the bible says it's better to stay or to live 
in a corner of a roof than with a quarrelsome or a nagging wife. Make sure that you're not that wife who's always complaining. When you wash the dishes, you want to complain about it. When you do this, you want to complain. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you don't want to, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. But what I know, it will bother you. So if it bothers you, do it and throw the key away. Okay? Because there are some things that you can't do. Everyone has their own role to play. We do not have to compartmentalize these roles. But you know, uh, in your relationship, individually, you have your own role to play. So just make sure that you play that role without complaining. The Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. So if you are giving something, don't complain. Don't wash someone's clothes and then tomorrow complain about it. You know, it just defeats the whole purpose. Give cheerfully. So if you are going to support him domestically, make sure that you do it cheerfully and you know make sure that you're playing your part right, number five it's admiration so it's very important for a man to be admired i don't know why i don't know why but they need that validation to say oh my god babe thank you for changing my wheels thank you for taking my car for service thank you for changing the lights you know whatever admire but what i have seen this is so sad instead of looking at all at all the good that a person is doing what do we do we focus on the bad oh my god yesterday you came home late yeah you took off your clothes and you didn't put it in the basket you just threw it on the floor so you end up focusing and most of the time those things that you're focusing on, like I said before, they are minors. We like to focus on minors. You find that there are big things that your partner is doing for you or for your family. You don't appreciate that. All you do is complain about the bed. No one is perfect. You are not perfect. No one in the world, no one will ever do everything right. Even your own parents. Your parents gave birth to you. We love our parents with all our hearts. But our parents are not perfect and they don't do everything that we like we love them to do. But we still love them anyway. Our siblings. And, and most of the time you find that your siblings are so different from you. You wish that, oh my God, if only she was like me. But she's not. She's different from you. And you still love her. Why don't you do the same for your partner? You always want to complain. Accept them for, for who they are. Yes, sometimes they will do something that you don't like. Yes, sometimes you do need to address it, but it's not always the case. Some things you just have to let them go and move on with life, but make sure that you admire and appreciate the positives, especially because it is a need for a man and it's a very important need. It encourages them to keep going. It encourages them to do more. A relationship or a marriage is about service. Don't go into a relationship um, asking what am I going to get here. But go with an attitude of what am I giving here. I'm telling you that is more fulfilling than um, the attitude of what am I getting. So the problem that we're having nowadays and the problem that many uh, couples are facing uh, are due to the fact that everybody wants to receive something everybody wants to receive nobody wants to give if we can both um give something if we can both um look for something look for a loophole look for a hole look for a gap in your partner and be like oh my god this guy can't do this for himself let me just do this for him this guy can't do this let me do this just fill the little gaps i'm telling you your relationship will be so strong because now you're looking for the gaps and then you're filling them up now he's like oh my god now i know why i married this girl you know and also for you guys as well look for the gaps in your wife's um in your wife's life and then fill those gaps so that no guy no guy in the world 
it doesn't matter where no guy in the world can feel try to steal something because you feel all the loopholes don't go into someone's life with an attitude of i want something go with an attitude of i want to give something and guess what you'll get something sometimes you even get more than you bargained for or more than you even expected so you just leave it there because your girl can talk <laughs> thank you so much for watching see you again on the next video bye